Hello and welcome to Teach Me Animated Math. In this video, we will be discussing the interval notation. We have learned about the set of real numbers. Now, let's take a look at the real number line. If you haven't seen it yet, feel free to go and watch the video about the set of real numbers on this real number line playlist. All of the numbers in the set of real numbers can be placed on the real number line. This is what it looks like when filled with our example numbers. To compare two real numbers on the number line, we use these symbols. This symbol means less than. We use it when the first number is to the left of the second number on the number line. In this example, negative 3 is less than pi. This symbol means greater than, and it is used when the first number is to the right of the second number on the number line. Pi is greater than negative 3. This symbol means less than or equal to. We use it the same way as less than when the first number is to the left of the second number. For example, negative 2 is less than or equal to 2. But also, we can use it to compare equal numbers. Negative 2 is less than or equal to negative 2. This symbol means greater than or equal to. It is used in the same way as greater than when the first number is to the right of the second number on the number line. 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2. It is also used to compare equal numbers. 2 is greater than or equal to 2. This symbol means equal to. It is used for numbers of the same value. One half is equal to 0 0.5, which is the decimal form of one half. This symbol means not equal to. This is for numbers that have different values. Negative 5 ninths is not equal to 2 thirds. This symbol means approximately equal to. This is used for numbers that are very close in their values. 0 0.66 is not equal to 2 thirds, but it is close. So, 0 0.66 is approximately equal to 2 thirds. The real number line extends infinitely in this direction and also in the other direction. Using the symbols we have just learned, we can describe a set between two numbers on the number line using the set builder notation. Watch the video on sets to learn more about the set builder notation. These sets are called intervals. We can write these sets or intervals in the interval notation. We can do this by describing the start point and the end point of the interval. We use square brackets when the start or end number is included. We use parentheses when the start or end number is not included. 
Let's write our sample sets here in the interval notation. The first interval uses parentheses at the start and end. It covers numbers between negative 4 and negative 1, but negative 4 and negative 1 are not included in the set. This next interval uses square brackets. 1 and 4 are included in the set because of the less than or equal to symbols. Our third interval uses parentheses and we use the infinity symbol for the starting point. The fourth interval uses a square bracket for the start because 5 is included. For the end, it uses a parenthesis and the infinity symbol. Here are the different ways to represent intervals using the set builder notation and the interval notation. Also, we show their graph representations. In the first way, we use square brackets and parentheses. The second way of graphing intervals on the number line uses an open dot for the endpoints that are not included and a closed dot for the endpoints that are included. Negative infinity and positive infinity are not numbers. They just mean that the set continues on without an end. Endpoints using the infinity symbol always use parentheses because they go on without a limit. We can't use a square bracket because we can't reach infinity. You can pause and use this table for future reference. And there you have it for the interval notation. View the real number line playlist for other videos in this series. Please hit like and subscribe and feel free to suggest topics you would like covered in this channel. Thanks for watching!